Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to a brand new game. This is Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle-Earth, or Home. This is a very early beta. We're going to go ahead and talk about this. I'm going to tell you everything I know about it so far and what you can expect over the coming months. But first, before we jump into that, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So this could be a lengthy video, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. This is Lord of the Rings, Heroes of Middle-Earth. So what is it? So this game, if you're familiar with Marvel Strike Force, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, it is a turn-based RPG game. It is energy-based. You can see up here at the top, we have two different types of energy. You have your regular energy here for campaign and such, and then you have this guild energy, which is specific to the guild campaign. So we'll go ahead, talk about that here in just a second. But this is your traditional turn-based RPG if you played Looney Tunes, World of Mayhem, all those different types of games. That is exactly what this is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the characters really quick. When it comes to gearing up, when it uh, comes to gearing up, it's the same thing you've seen in a lot of other games. Very similar. It just has a Lord of the Rings skin to it, right? So you're going to be collecting gear. As you collect gear, you're going to socket them, and then you're going to gear tier up right now you can see i'm at gear tier four um you also have your skills now one thing that this game does differently that i haven't really recognized in other games i'll go ahead and scroll down so you can see some other uh, uh heroes here as well but the guild campaign there's a specific guild campaign and you're going to want to be part of an alliance in this in this game because that's the only way to farm ability materials and the ability materials obviously is going to allow you to level up your abilities so um that's the only place so far at least right now that you're able to farm that now this game here this is a limited they're calling it a limited regional beta now there's some rumors going around that the beta is only going to last for a couple months they may be trying to match the launch of this game with the release of the amazon prime show um rings of power i think it's called that's coming out in september now if that's the case there's a lot of work that needs to be done in this game now when you go to their site i will put a link in the description below for their discord uh, they do say that there is, there's a lot of polish that has to happen. There's some additional features. They also did say that, that, um, that this game, the, the player experience in here is complete. Now, when I read that, I feel that probably everything, all game modes and everything are in the game, but there's features and stuff that they want to add to it. Whether that's the case or not, we don't know. We'll find out as this moves through beta. This is also a wiped beta. So um, everybody's going to start on the, uh, on level playing field when this game hits globally. Everybody's accounts get erased. So um, I'm not really in a hurry to to get as far as I can and stuff. It's really more about understanding the game, figuring out kind of who's good, who's not, so that when everybody starts fresh, um, we have a leg up. And hopefully I can help out and give some suggestions there. But a lot of the heroes here, it looks like they have 50 total. Um there's no legendaries or anything like that right now. This beta has only been available for about four or five days, so less than a week people have had access to it. Um, now, this is available through um, Android. It's also available in the Philippines store as well, I believe, the Google Play Store. It will be coming to iOS as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the game modes uh, that we have here. Right now, uh, we hit play. We go in. We have two campaigns. You have light and shadow. If I didn't mention it already, the developers behind Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is who's putting this together. This is Capital Games. So you're probably going to see a lot of similarities uh, and, and a lot of familiarity with what's going on here. So light and, light and shadow campaigns. You have challenges as well. These challenges are specific to different days, which allows you to farm uh, the different resources and things that you need to gear tier up and all that. You also have um, a character experience to level up your characters. You've got gold. Here's some ability. These are the ability materials I was talking about to level up your skills and stuff. So those are gonna be um, those are gonna be specific to different days as well. But those are the types of campaigns that we have here. When you're part of a guild, like I was saying, we can go up in here into guild and then go to this guild battle right here. Um, and then you have different, different chapters here. Right now I'm on chapter two. Looks like it only goes to chapter four. As you're going through the other campaigns, the light and the shadow, there is a normal and a hard mode. So as you complete uh, like chapter one, then chapter one hard is going to become available. Right now, there's only five chapters for both. 
Uh, there is no hard mode right now for guild campaign. But uh, this, uh, again, is where you're going to go through. And like I said, I'll click on this. Here's your ability materials. You also have character shards that you can collect in the different campaign modes as well. This is a character shard system. So as you collect the different shards, you need a specific number in order to unlock them. One star them, two star them, three star them. As you can see, when I went to collection here, I just start up this guy right here, Aragorn Strider. Uh, he was a two star. I now have him at a three star. Don't know anything about... Um, after you, you five star, if there's another color that goes above it or whatever, um, I'm sure something like that's going to, uh, be coming. Every game like this has some sort of additional progression after your original five star. Um, so there's that you have the supplies. This is just your different stores, uh, that you go into your normal, your main store there. This is your arena store, your challenge store. So you get these challenge, this challenge currency as well. And then you have your guild. So, um, you have that, you have arena. Uh, arena you go in you do a battle you wait 15 minutes you can go back in if you want to if you want to spend crystals then you can go ahead and spend crystals and and jump in there more i don't know if there's a max here yet uh but i did like i was saying earlier you have your energy for your campaign as well as your guild i do like that because your guild campaign here as you're running through those is separate from your main energy here you do have refreshes that pop up so in three and a half hours i'll be able to claim some energy there you got different goals and objectives. Those are just different missions and things in order for you to continue to level up. Now, I'm at level 27. At level 25 is when the arena uh, opens up. So at level 25, the entire game is then open to you. Um, and as you're working through goals, as you're working through objectives, you get quite a bit of experience there to move you along. I've been in this game about three or four days. Uh, so starting from getting to level 27 in three or four days, I feel the progression um, felt okay. I felt okay there. Let's go ahead and jump into battle. Let's show you what that's all about. Uh, let's see. Let's jump into... We're just going to do an easy one because some of these battles can actually be pretty lengthy. Um, so I'm going to just jump up here. Let's go into Chapter 2 in this end battle right here. You can get uh, you can auto win. I can jump into here. As long as you three-start it, you can go in here. There's no skip tickets or anything like that, but you can go ahead. I want to auto win 20 times. It'll use all 120 energy, and it'll auto win. I'm just going to go ahead and battle. As you're setting up your team, there's an interesting story here as well. But as you're setting up your team, it's a team of five. You do have a sixth slot here. That sixth slot will typically come into play as you're working through story mode. So you'll, you'll have your characters here, and then there will be a mandatory character, sometimes multiple mandatory characters to carry you through the story. When you're in the guild campaign, you have your five, plus you can borrow one of your guild members' um, characters as well everybody's got the same characters for the most part right now so everybody's borrowing the same characters but you get that sixth one for the guild campaign which is pretty cool um also another thing i thought was cool i can click on this number eight this has to do with synergy you can see total synergy here at 22 it tells me who frodo synergizes with here i can go ahead and click on this guy here same thing he synergizes with those three um so it's a really easy way to find out kind of who are the best to put together and how well they synergize. You want to get into really, if you really want to get into some good detail there, then you can click on it like I showed and just kind of see what those synergies are and then really start planning that way because strategy comes into play. I'm going to show you between, uh, there's some joint attacks that happen. So it's pretty cool to see that. I really like the animations. Um, I had to do some tweaking in order to improve the graphics a little bit. Um, but like I said, there's some there's some polishing they said they need to do, some additional features and stuff. So I'm very interested to kind of see what the final product for global is gonna is gonna look like. So let's go ahead. We're gonna jump into this battle here. We'll show this just so you can see it. Those of you who play these types of games, it's the same type of gameplay. But here's like one of the backgrounds. You can see the water here. So can you imagine if they kind of beef this up a little bit, put a little more texture in here, brighten up colors or whatever, maybe even darken some colors, uh, highlight some more of these cracks in the rocks and stuff. But um, I think I think this is going to look pretty cool. So here's my five. You can actually turn the battlefield around if you want a little bit to get a different look. So you can go ahead and do that. Um, I can click and hold, and it's going to bring up the whole list of abilities. So let's just go ahead um, and run through some of this. Uh, yeah, I made it too easy. Uh, let's see. You have adjacent attacks as well. This is kind of cool. Let me do this. I'll slow it down for some animations. This is cool. Watch. I'll times one this. We'll go to this guy over here. 
Doesn't that look cool? I like that. These animations are pretty cool. Um, there's a double up attack here that's going to happen here. Watch this. Between uh, So this guy and Swiftblade here, they synergize pretty well. There we go. Look at that. Oh, okay. I thought it wasn't going to take him out. Wave two. Look at this big guy over here. Skip that. Uh, this His animation. Look at Frodo right here. I think it's cool. Watch this. Disappears. Boom. Gets rid of him. All right. Uh, we got a healer here as well. Let's do this. I'll show one more battle too. So I want to show like the goblins. The goblins are really cool on some of the abilities uh, that they have. So we'll show one more. We'll go ahead and speed it up now though. And then I'll go ahead and put it out on auto. Get through that. There we go. See, we have our sixth character right up there, so. Get a nice heal up there. And like I was saying, some of these battles can actually be pretty lengthy, especially when um, your power level is is pretty even. There we go. We got a nice Fury. Fury increases your damage by 50%. And this video is kind of going long enough. Um, I won't show off uh, the goblins right now. If you do want to see some of that, I just recently finished up a Twitch stream. So you can go head on over to my Twitch um, and check that out. And you can see some of that as well. I'll be doing some more. I've been really looking for a game, a, a fun turn-based RPG game. That's a kind of a bug right there, I think. A turn-based RPG since I haven't played Marvel Strike Force and SWGOH for a while. I quit Looney Tunes earlier, so I've been really kind of looking for a fun turn-based RPG, and I think this is really going to fill that for me. So I am going to stay on top of this um, and into global, so if you want to see more, definitely subscribe to the channel. Keep an eye out for additional content on it. I will keep updating it as we move through beta. But there we go. There's a... Try to make it a quick video to just kind of give you an overview on what this game is, what it has to offer currently, and what the gameplay looks like. Very interesting in your thoughts. Are you looking forward to this? Are you, a, are you a Lord of the Rings fan? Very curious on your thoughts on what you see so far, knowing that we're just a few days into soft launch and that they've got some stuff coming and they know they've got some polish to do. Very curious on your thoughts and your feedback. Definitely let us know in the comment section below. All right, everybody, that is what I had to show for you. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, Make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.